lobbying, influencing and making your voice heard. Now it's time to take the action. How do we reach out people who are supporting our views? And how do we neutralize those who are trying to block our actions? What generally makes people change their minds? There is a no definite answer to this question, but there is a number of research that has been done in the cognitive science to answer this question. When you are trying to establish a point of view and you support it very eagerly, you are basically try to escape from any effort, any communication, they may change your point of view. You react to it very aggressively. So, if you start trying to convince people who are eagerly opposing you, if you try to make them change their minds, you may face that different reaction. They will try to become aggressive. They will try to prove that they are right. They will defend their rightness in any possible way. So it's better try not to touch them at this stage of the advocacy. Basically, what you have to do? You have to do several things. First, you have to reach out those who are undecided. Those are main targets of the advocacy. If you turn them into your supporters, you will make the advocacy more powerful and reach out more people. Second thing, you have to uh, mobilize your supporters, those who are already sharing your views. Third, you have to uh, Avoid, at least on this stage, you have to avoid those who are opposing your views. Otherwise, their reaction may harm your communication campaign from the very beginning. Next step would be to use a celebrity or a trusted person to communicate your messages. Try to use those who enjoy public support to communicate your messages. That's the reason why some organizations are using celebrities as their public speakers. For example, the ambassadors of the goodwill by the UN and other. The last one, you have to reach out the opinion leaders, a trusted people in your network who can become your supporters and bring in many others who follow their opinion. Let's note that all of this is built on the basis of effective communication. Effective communication is a core component of advocacy. Communication for advocacy is not the same as, for example, general communication. It requires uh, knowing your audience very well. It requires building your message in a very clear way that is understood by your key audiences and it requires using uh, very specific tools that are understood and accepted by your key audiences, key targets. For example, by building advo uh, advocacy communication, we may use several formats of materials. It may be a small booklet with pictures and entertaining content for the young, young audience. It may be a bullet point, brief uh, material for the busy decision makers. It's definitely, you may want to use a press release format for distribution to the media representatives. And of course, to the important decision makers that require a lot of evidence about your advocacy, you may prepare an extended large report with a lot of factual materials in it what tools may be used to communicate effectively. Those are leaflets and other materials, posters and advertisements, workshops and public hearings, flash mobs and street events, 
press events and media gatherings and other formats that you may find appropriate. Now let's briefly touch on the important issue that we call lobbying. Lobbying is a process of reaching out politicians and decision makers directly in person. Lobbyists are people who are professionally doing it on behalf of the organizations, citizens and civil groups. When you begin advocacy, uh, there is a moment where you definitely need to arrange a face-to-face -face meeting with the decision maker or a person who may affect tremendously the success of your campaign. That's why you have to be prepared for the meeting and wear a hat of the lobbyist. Behave properly, prepare yourself, describe everything that you want to do in the first 30 seconds when you meet the official. Don't wait until he's getting bored and value time of your vis-a-vis. -vis. When conducting negotiations, be prepared for the negative feedback. So be persistent, be polite and follow up on the meeting as soon as you leave the room. Please pay attention to the materials that are attached to this course, use them and I wish you all the success in your advocacy efforts.